we'd like to congratulate Sabrina and Jacob with a marriage blessing. May your marriage always bring glory to God, joy to one another, and blessings to your family for many generations to come. May love and laughter fill your hearts and your home throughout all the days of your life. May you face every challenge hand in hand and side by side, knowing that with God's grace, you will conquer all obstacles together. May the world be forever a better place because the two of you fell in love. God bless Jacob and Sabrina today on their wedding day and always. Amen. Please join us now in saying grace. Blessed is the Lord, and these are the gifts we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, Caitlin and Ryan. Come on up here, Caitlin and Ryan. gentlemen at this time Caitlin is gonna open up the speeches so Caitlin without further ado come on right here good evening everyone for those of you who do not know me I am Caitlin Sabrina's older sister by almost exactly five years and nine months that's important to know because 28 years ago in September 1994 at my fifth birthday, I blew out my candles and wished for a baby sister. June 20th, 1995, my wish came true. For the past 27 years, Sabrina and I have gone through many phases of sisterhood, which all sisters do. When my parents brought her home, I thought she was mine. When I was a young teen, she went everywhere with my friends and I, especially our favorite Chinese buffet. <laughs> when Sabrina was a teen, I did not exist to her, except for being her personal chauffeur. We endured different life milestones and monumental moments at polar opposite times of each other. But despite our age difference, we have always had a special bond, a close relationship, somewhat greater at times than others, but nevertheless, unbreakable and sacred. Some of my favorite memories with Sabrina involve countless hours of softball, going to pitching lessons together, her being my travel ball team's mini mascot, her then playing travel ball of her own and me being able to enjoy watching her, teaching her how to drive, and that was fun, <laughs> watching old home movies together, and her always letting me do her hair or paint her nails with whatever crazy ideas I came up with. Having a sister is truly like having a built-in best friend. I stand here today so honored as I get to watch her marry her new best friend, a life partner best friend. I am also so proud and amazed at how the little sister I once wished for so long ago and the little bean that my parents brought home turned out. Sabrina exudes grace, determination, hard work, a strong will, a powerful mind, a pure heart, a beautiful soul, and not to mention she's absolutely stunning. <laughs> Sabrina is also a little bit, well, quirky. <laughs> I have to say, with her quirky qualities, though none of them completely out there or noteworthy that would land her on a TV show nowadays, I was not so sure she would ever find someone who would understand her quirks or accept her no-nonsense way of life. Enter Jake. <laughs> Jake completely and utterly compliments her quirkiness. They have such an amazing and effortless connection that I absolutely adore. 
Sabrina and Jake were friends first, which I think created the abundant foundation for their future and their relationship. Truly, they are best friends. Jake has his own peculiar qualities, which only enhance his and Sabrina's bond and dynamic as a couple. They're in their own world, not caught up in the eccentric things in life. They have so much fun together on their many adventures. They do things their way, as a team, and they are completely smitten with one another. I could not have handpicked a better person for my sister. I admire the way Jake cares for her, his tenderness toward her, the affection he shows her. There's no doubt that he cherishes, loves, and is completely devoted to Sabrina. For crying out loud, he does the cooking, <laughs> he does the cleaning, and he even packs her to-go's at every restaurant they go to so she doesn't put them in the box upside down. <laughs> So to wrap this up before I get yelled at, <laughs> Sabrina doesn't cook and she doesn't clean, but we're all here tonight celebrating this incredible couple because she still got that ring. <laughs> Take notes, you single ladies. <laughs> so please join me and raise your glasses to wishing Sabrina and Jacob a lifetime of health, wealth, peace, happiness, prosperity, growth, understanding, endless adventures, and unconditional love. Never stop falling in love with each other. To Sabrina and Jacob. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, if I could have your attention, please. Our best man, Ryan. Come on up here. Come on up here and finish this off, my friend. Don't drink my beer. All right. Good evening, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Ryan Rulavich. I'm Jake's cousin. I'm Jake's cousin. Um, and we've been best friends uh, since we uh, can remember, as far back as we can remember. Uh, for those of you who do know me, you know uh, I have also been Jake's partner in crime uh, for the past 28 years. Uh, fun fact, uh, Jake and Sabrina actually introduced me to my beautiful fiance, Juliet. And, and since that time, uh, we've had plenty of laughs, trips, uh, and great times. Uh, I want to begin just by saying, wow, what a, what a beautiful day, right? Uh, couldn't have asked for a, a better weather day. Uh, and Penn City won, so that was a good day for us. Good note, this is written down a week ago, that Penn State won. So. Uh, but seriously, what a beautiful ceremony, right? Couldn't have been a more Jake... Couldn't have been a more Jake and Sabrina ceremony. Um, and, and, and what an honor, <laughs> thank you. What an, what an honor it's been to uh, stand next to you to um, decide you, what you committed yourselves today to each other and, and every day. Uh, again, perfect style, Jake. I know you stress over the candles, the centerpieces, the seating chart. Great job, you know it. You know it. Uh, now, we, we all know that Jake and I have plenty of stories of our shenanigans, and each one of you knows one of them. Uh, us. Uh, I can tell some, uh, one more outrageous and more unreal or, or unbelievable than the, the next, uh, but our attorney, Dad, right, uh, has advised us against that. Um, every story I pitched to him, he told me, no, you can't do that because of legal ramifications that will it. Um, so instead, I'd like to say this. Uh, Sabrina, since you and Jake began dating, I've never seen him happier in his life. Uh, after the two of you, yeah, you after, after the two of you settled into your relationship, uh, his complete, his entire demeanor changed. 
Um, it was kind of like he took a deep breath and realized, I finally met the person I'm supposed to be with for the rest of my life. Um, with that, it's, it's been a pleasure to watch Jake, your priorities change. So Graham, leave no doubt this man lives to make you happy. With that, Sabrina, I wanted you to know, you won the grand prize. Uh, and, and I think you know some of this, but I need you to know everything that you won by winning the grand prize. <laughs> Sabrina Korjeski, you married a Dunmore Bucks football standout. I don't know if you know this yourself, but Jake is the winner uh, of the prestigious Joey Fawcett Athlete of the Week. <laughs> Safe to say, he is the most athletic child. Check that son that Janet Bryan had. Uh, a man of impeccable style, it is rumored that he turned down a six-figure deal with GQ. <laughs> and don't even get me started on his golf game. Uh, I'll say this, he did want to shoot 18. By that I mean he drank 18 beers to make golf. <laughs> he was struck digit numbers on his golf game. <laughs> uh, all, all jokes aside, um, Serena Jake's best quality is his devotional channel. Uh, there's no doubt about it that Jacob is a family man. Uh, throughout the 28 years that I've known him, uh, Jake has always helped family, paramount, and everything else. Uh, a fierce protector of his family, he always stands up for what he believes is right. Uh, with that, he has that put his head down and get the job done kind of mentality. And I know he's going to take that into your marriage and, and utilize all of those traits. Uh, for the two of you. Jake, I'm so proud of the man you become. I remember um, two years ago on New Year's Eve when you told me you were going to, or that you had water. Um, and what an honor it's been to watch you guys progress from that point to now. Uh, and look, you're married. <laughs> we will, everyone in this room will always be on the sidelines turning you two on. We all love you so very much. With that, I'd like to propose a toast to Mr. and Mrs. Jake Cortez. May they learn from the great examples of their parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, family and friends. Uh, to enjoy a marriage full of health, happiness, and love for the rest of their life.